Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be going over QuickBooks alternatives, specifically for my accountants and tax preparers who are looking for alternatives to use for helping your clients with their accounting. In this smaller business sector, can really struggle with getting good accounting and tax services. And as a provider, when we talk about the software we're using, that has a big impact on how you're able to work with these clients. And by small business, I mean those business owners making less than one to two million dollars a year. So the small of the small. But I'm also referring to those business owners that are netting 50 to 150 or 200,000 and everyone in between. They're all really important. So, so many accounting and tax professionals try to work with these types of clients. And the reality is, is that small business owners, as you probably know, if you are one yourself, are doing everything themselves. And I've learned over the years that a different model, a done with you model, can work better and make everyone happy. If you're new here, my name's Amanda. You're watching The Business Finance Coach, where I simplify money and the technicalities of business. I'm the creator of the Master Your Accounting and Taxes program, which helps small business owners end confusion and overwhelm and get organized using our unique Google Sheets spreadsheet templates. And if you're an accounting and tax professional, I am doing a live training at the end of this month on how to work with small business clients in a different way using these same spreadsheet templates and trainings. So if you wanna learn more about that, check out the link. And I'll be talking about that option of our spreadsheet templates as an alternative to QuickBooks at the end of this video as well. Okay, so let's jump in. First, let's talk about QuickBooks Desktop and what's going on with Intuit. You may have heard for a long time now, Intuit has been trying to get rid of Desktop and trying to push everyone into QuickBooks Online. And if you're like many accountants and business owners, you might be used to desktop and really not want to use QuickBooks Online. Now, I've used both. I've taught people how to use both. I kind of like QuickBooks Online personally. Like I liked the, the look, the user aspect of the look versus QuickBooks Desktop, which is a little clunky and older software. But I totally understand there's different blocks where you couldn't do certain things, right? And it was meant to be checks in the system, but it was different from desktop. Now, why on earth they're so insistent on getting rid of desktop? At the end of July of this year, 2024, they were scheduled to discontinue it. They extended that until a few days ago, September, the last day in September. So all versions of QuickBooks Desktop are discontinued all 2021 and prior if you're a current client for 2022 2023 and 2024 they are going to allow renewals now i can't find very clear information about this but i believe you can resubscribe for up to three years so they'll be phased out that way so by the end of 2027 there'll be no more of these quickbook desktop versions the one version that they are continuing to sell is QuickBook Enterprise. And this is a bigger software designed for a million clients and it has that bigger functionality. And this is an annual subscription. You can include payroll for about 500 or not. And that will be the only desktop option. And there is a bit of discussion I've found about continuing to use versions of desktop. They won't have updates. They won't connect online for whatever support options. Why would this not be okay? I did see some people talking about your insurance. If you're insured as an accountant, bookkeeper, that you need to have a supported software product. But other than that, I'm not sure. That would have to be something to look into more. Let's look at some of these prices. Their pricing is increasing. All of the QuickBooks Online is going up by $5 a month, and you can see by a few hundred dollars, all the prices went up. So I think it's a great time to consider alternatives. Now, the first thing I'll mention is that when it comes to accounting software, 
we want to think about the type of business that we're helping and also to understand that accounting softwares are basically two groups. There's like income and expense trackers, and then there's full-blown accounting software. I'm gonna explain why QuickBooks has done so well, and I'm gonna recommend the software that I recommend as an alternative. And then lastly, we'll talk about my spreadsheets, which are an alternative solution to software. Okay, so first, if we look at my business types cheat sheet, the first option is for legal businesses, and then on the right is the way that they're taxed. Our first type is sole proprietor, which is just if you start working for yourself, right? That's taxed as self-employed. Now, a sole proprietor is the only one of these business types that isn't separate from its owner. So basically, when you make a business with the state, you're creating a separate legal entity, like a person, right? You're basically creating another person, <laughs> but it's a business, and it can earn money, it can spend money, it can be sued, right? It can be held liable, it can be fined, it can pay taxes, etc. For all the businesses that are separate, you can see down here, if you form an actual entity with a state like an LLC or a corporation or a partnership, which is kind of separate, kind of not, but still multiple people are involved. And so for all these types of businesses, you have to have a complete accounting record for the business because the business needs to be kept separate from the owner. The business needs to own bank accounts, have its own loans, have, you know, and then when it interacts with the owner, we can track that activity as well. The owner might loan the business money, might invest money, might take money out, might put money back. So the implications for the accounting records is that the sole proprietor taxes self-employed for our self-employed taxes, we really only need to keep track of income and expenses, the business income and expenses, Whereas with our separate businesses, we need to not only keep track of income and expenses, but also keep track of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. What the business owns, what it owes, and the value of the owners. And this should determine what type of accounting software we use. A sole proprietor doesn't need to use a complete accounting record and a separate business does. When it comes to software that track income and expenses, there's a lot of them. QuickBooks has one, it's called QuickBooks Self-Employed. It allows you to just pull out of the bank accounts and credit cards and all your finances, pull out the transactions that were business and you just categorize them as business. It is very easy to find a software that just does income and expenses and use that. However, when we get to this complete accounting record for a separate business, there's a lot more that goes into that. And although there are a lot of options out there like Wave and FreshBook and Zoho and tons, you know, I've tested a lot of them over the years. And my experience was that they tended to be limited in the complete accounting area. And I would say a lot of them were really, I think, marketed towards and used by business owners, not accountants. So my recommendation, and specifically for accounting and tax professionals, is zero. Zero, their mission was to be better than QuickBooks. I felt like they did a thorough job. They have much better support than QuickBooks. And because their mission was to be better than QuickBooks, they really were setting out from the start to create this really robust system. And it's taken them years, you know what I mean, to build up. They're established enough that I trust Zero. When it comes to alternatives and new software, there is always a risk. Like, you don't know, was it a startup funded by investment money? Is it gonna get there? A lot of people often get distracted by all of the add-ons that softwares have, right? especially small business clients. Time tracking, invoicing, payment processing, payroll, like all of those things are peripheral things that you can get other softwares that do those things. You shouldn't be choosing your accounting software for that unless it's working for someone. But when it comes to being an accountant and working with your clients, 
I would recommend Xero. Xero also had some functionality to allow you to communicate with your clients about transactions. When you're trying to record them in the software, it gave you a way to communicate with them. And I think that that's really important. It's something I'm gonna talk about with my alternative in spreadsheets. And one of the reasons why it's so powerful is because the more you're able to talk to your clients easily about things you have questions about, it saves everyone time. So that brings us to my solution, which is my unique complete accounting spreadsheet templates uh, from my Master Your Accounting and Taxes program. As an accountant, you can use these with your clients. And I ended up just keeping our spreadsheets in Google Sheets, not doing Excel like I had originally intended because of the ease of use in working with people. So the cool thing about Google Sheets is it's an online site. I've never lost data. You can go into the file history and see the history of every user in the spreadsheet and revert to a version of that spreadsheet before each and every change. So you never lose data. It's not on a desktop somewhere where you need to be concerned about, oh, I emailed it to blah, 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 and they made it, like none of that. <laughs> you can add people into the spreadsheet and share it with them to just view it, to just comment in it and or to make changes. The commenting feature is great because you're able to ask questions and more importantly with my system, allow your customers, your clients to ask you questions by putting a comment in the exact location in the spreadsheet. And I think this is really critical so that you're not trying to explain and add more details, right? Like you can just say, what is this number, you know, on a report? and you can go look at the report and answer their question. They don't have to explain like, you know, a million details trying to get your, just the context, right, of your question. So when it comes to working with business owners, I've found the spreadsheets to be great. And there's another key reason, especially when you're dealing with those smaller businesses, it's that you can really create a different way to work with them by having them do the majority of the updating the spreadsheets, like the majority of the work of getting their transactions into the spreadsheet and categorizing them. You are able to meet with them, coach them, answer their questions, help them use it right and learn it. And I found that business owners love this because as you might have experienced, business owners often want to talk more and they want a deeper understanding because they have to make so many decisions themselves that they need to understand things, right? And it's like, look, you're going to file taxes for the rest of your life. You might as well understand it a little better. And we have a quarterly tax estimate spreadsheet template that helps them come up with a better estimate for people that aren't earning consistently throughout the year, right? Our small business people, they don't wanna just make a tax payment if they're gonna have a finer penalty. They wanna make the tax payment that is going to be exactly what they need to make, right? So that they don't end up with a surprise bill at the end of the year. So we have all these tools that have been created for business owners and I'm doing a training live. Check out the link. Uh, we'll post it around here. I'd love for you to join me. I'm going over this new method for working with business owners, for accounting and tax professionals, so that you can really be more profitable while providing them what they need and want. And it's really a new way of working with business owners. So if this interests you, I hope you'll check it out. Check out the registration page. You know, if you've struggled to provide accounting clients in a profitable way, this sort of done with you model might be exactly what you need. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Is there a software you've been using or trying? I'd love to hear how it's going for you. I hope to see you at the training I'm doing. And otherwise, do subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.